it me, or does it seem the world is waiting on the edge of its seat for the return of Star Wars? They first took the galaxy by storm 38 years ago, and now they're back with a vengeance. And while much of the excitement is for the return of some of our favorite characters, there are some charismatic young stars who got to tangle with the legendary space cowboy Harrison Ford. Here's ABC's Chris Connolly. Breathtaking battles. Give it everything you got. And bone chilling bad guys. Even you. Dog fights. And droids. What? Plot details of Star Wars The Force Awakens remain under wraps. Yet while the seventh film in the Star Wars series will bring back to the big screen such beloved figures as Luke. I have it. Leia, Han Solo, and Chewbacca. Chewie, we're home. The movie features two newcomers facing off against the dark side. I don't know your name. Finn, what's yours? I'm Ray. An ex-stormtrooper named Finn and the bow staff wielding Ray. In that quad jumper! She's really cool. I just think about it that if I had a little sister, I would be so pleased for her to see the character. Are we really doing this? Heroes for this new generation of Star Wars, Finn and Ray are played by two fresh-faced 23-year-olds from the UK. John Boyega and Daisy Ridley. Oh my gosh. I'm literally shaking, like, this is insane. While trying out for his role, Boyega looked at Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford's original Star Wars auditions. You're on your own, I'm on my own. I'll let you off on the nearest system. You can't. Look, we've come this far, we must find them. You talked about Star Wars acting. It is, it's like, you know, in a normal movie, if you were in a ship and it was about to crash, you know, the. The characters will call their, their, their family and tell them they love them and cry. But in Star Wars, it's kind of like, woohoo! We've done a lot of that. Taking her own approach was Ridley, who, for her first major film role, made the choice not to pour over the earlier films at the outset. I'm really glad that I didn't know it that well because I didn't feel like I was trying to fit into anything. I was just like trying to do a good job. They're joined by Adam Driver, playing dark side demon Kylo Ren who gets to brandish that much buzzed about lightsaber. It's the first time that they've actually been able to put light in it, or actually reflects to people's faces and do special effects in 3D printed everything. The whole thing with the, all armed with lights and special effects, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy. And Oscar Isaac plays whiz-bang pilot Poe Dameron, both of them accomplished actors with memories of Star Wars from childhood. This is crazy, just look around. Oscar, what was your first experience of a Star Wars film? Return of the Jedi, really the moment uh, when Darth Vader's helmet comes off was the one that I remember, it stuck with me very, very much. He was such a weird, sad man underneath that. You were right about me. It's gonna be much like when his helmet will come off. <laughs> <laughs> my dad had a stormtrooper helmet that he would chase us around the house and... <laughs> Terrifying. And, uh, Damn. Uh, and, and things like that. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Not, not to get it right. That's yeah. great. So we would cry. <laughs> I punched him in the nose one time. He was bloody. He was very proud of me. Uh, so that's, that's, how, that's how I was exposed to him, through pain and misery. <laughs> the Force Awakens begins 30 years after Return of the Jedi, with Rey compelled to scavenge on an arid planet. She has no family. She has really no friends. So for someone to maintain, like, a hope, within that, I think, is a wonderful thing. Camera, action! Paternal guidance occasionally came not only from director, co-writer J.J. Abrams, stepping into George Lucas's shoes, but also from the on-the-set presence and involvement of the original cast. It's like, no, this is the real thing. We're actually doing it. That's Chewbacca, that's Peter Mayhew, that's Anthony Daniels, that's uh, Harrison, Carey, and Mark. I mean, that, 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 I think that, for me, made it feel that's what made it feel very real. You might need this. I think I can handle myself. Did you sit in Harrison Ford's seat at I one did. point? I did. I had already piloted the Falcon, so when I stepped on with him, uh, I like went to get in it, and he was like, that's mine. And, but it was like, it kind of wasn't even funny. It was really embarrassing, and JJ was like, oh my god. <laughs> but he was uh, gracious. He actually offered to, to teach me a, a little bit. He, he did say, remember, it's, it's, it's in space. He's like, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just flipping switches and just pretending. Less pure pretending was called for on The Force Awakens, with Abrams emphasizing so-called practical effects over computer-generated imagery, the real thing, such as the film's new droid, BB-8. Are we really doing this? BB-8, hold on! <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, mate. I didn't do that, man. Shut up. 
I can say that BB-8 is the first kind of real relationship that Ray has had in a long time. And it's so pure. It's wonderful. <laughs> when it came to humans, I was far more intimidated. So I was like, oh my gosh, can I go back to a choice? For its two young leads, the chance to see the finished film well before its December 18th American release date was huge. We kind of sat around together for like an hour. And then in the car on the way to the airport, I cried a lot, but I didn't quite know why I was crying. It was just a very, very odd, out-of-body kind of experience. It was fantastic. I think I'm great in it. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I think I read somewhere that you've been cuddling your dog and baking cakes to keep from going out and having to say what happens in that's, Star Wars. That's my life. I don't do that to stop the rest of my life. That is my life. Perhaps not for much longer. Stardom may beckon after the world gets to see these two in action, wearing their Force Awakens wardrobe. I'll just say you never see this costume clean, that's for sure, because of uh, the amount of stuff that happens to me while I'm wearing it. Daisy, how about you? How did they let you know that you were going to wear that beautiful uh, number right Well, there? we tried a couple combinations, and then when we got to the desert, because obviously it's designed for the desert, um, it just felt perfect. It fits to the atmosphere so well. <laughs> That atmosphere had temperatures that soared to 120 degrees, leaving these two grateful for the physical training they endured. We were both so relieved because when we got to um, Abu Dhabi where we were doing the Jakku stuff, we had to run so much. And without the preparation, we would have... Uh, John, Daisy, again? <laughs> Faster? 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 More intense? <laughs> sure. Sure, for Nightline, I'm Chris Connolly in Los Angeles. Star Wars The Force Awakens is produced by a division of ABC's parent company, Disney.